Hello, my name is Fight Boost, and I have gotten a lot of feedback about these icons from Reddit on the Raid Meter subreddit. And I just wanted to show you guys how to get it done. I got a lot of DMs from people being confused of how to implement it, as well as um, how to make your own. So we're going to walk through both steps today. So the original video I had up to start this whole process was a video titled Pixelate Desktop Make Windows Look Better by Erm Barisha. Um, I highly recommend you check them out. Um, if you go towards the end of their video, they'll explain exactly how to get a few of the starting pixel icons on there and I will put a link in the description for my file system if you want to borrow some of my various icons I have made and borrowed from other people. Now the first step that I would recommend is downloading a program called paint.net. This is what I use for editing all my icons and to make a new one I start out by opening the folder of honeycomb, resources, and then images. Now if you follow the video that I just mentioned, um, it will talk about how to install this. However, um, see these folders all the way down here. This is how I implement every single icon that we have on here. So let's say I go to Amazon, the at resources images directory in the honeycomb folder. So let's see. You'll start out with Amazon Anim to get you a good idea and work with the same one we've been talking about. So the first thing that I do so that I can draw on it is modify the percentage to be 25%. That way when you use the pencil tool with P, you can just draw and it will fit the exact format that we're looking for. You just draw any pixel icon you want and what I'm going to stick with and let me first remove so I'm using S to grab the select tool and I'm using the select box if you tapped it multiple times you get different types of selection tools so we're going to use the fill bucket but first we want the color that we want to fill it in and I just want to get a blank canvas so that's that's what we're going to be working with so I'm only going to work with this one right here until I have my icon created and the first thing that we're gonna do is find some inspiration. So I want to make a telegram icon and it's just a blue with a little messenger logo on. Now since I'm working with such a small small pixels um, it's not going to be as detailed so some of this may have to be up to preference um, but I'm just gonna copy this image and then control N to make a new one a uh, new page in paint.net hit enter and then paste it use K to grab a color that I want and I'm going to use the magic wand select tool to fill that in now that's looking a little bit that's looking a little bit darker than I want so I have this color wheel right here and I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter yeah something around there that just feels a little a little bit more accurate to what I'm going for and what I usually do for all of these is I just um, I simply just make it darker for the bottom part so you can see here I'm messing around with that and then if I feel it's darker maybe I want it a little bit brighter and I'm satisfied with that that's fine and now I'm gonna just draw on it so I'm gonna want to get a white I can just switch to white I'm gonna use the uh, pencil with P and we're just gonna draw see what we can do and it's gonna be a little bit you know imperfect because there's not many ways you could show too much detail with what we're working on so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this but you can get a decent understanding of what's actually happening here. Um, yeah, I, I do not like this logo at all. So let me cut this out until I find something I actually do like. Alright, so this is no 
no means my favorite work of art I have made. However, it will work for the video. So once you have whatever design you want, you will copy and paste it. And what I recommend in paint.net is to make a new layer so that you can see it behind you. So we'll paste it and then line it up, paste it, line it up. And if you want to do the control A, control C, control V on this layer, you can just grab some more, line it up. some more and line it up. Alright, so now we got the base icon and it's sprite down, but you may be wondering how we get the how we get the flash on it from the animation like you would right here. Right? Now for that we have an easy solution. So if we open and in the included uh, files I have on my docs, there's an anim template. You open the anim template and you do the same thing we did on the other um, animation. You will do image resize to 25%. You'll copy that, you'll go back to what you've been working on, you'll add a layer, and then you can just paste it. And once that's done, you should inspect it and you should be good. Um, I usually do a few extra things such as making sure that everything is missing because sometimes you'll find some weird transparency issues where there's like some grayed out areas and I'm not seeing it right now but you know they could still exist don't worry about it um, once you have it to your liking, you can drop it down and merge the, all of the layers down so it's just one and then now you can export it. Um, but do not forget to resize it and I do 400% to get it to the size I like. Now you can technically resize the image to whatever size you want, however it's going to be larger um, or smaller depending on the size you make it. For all of the icons I have, bring it down 25% and back to 400 is the size that I want. It'll just be the same throughout all of them and I don't normally want a different size. But for specific icons, um, you may want to do that. So I'm just going to hit uh, save as because I don't want to overwrite what I've been working on and we're going to call this telegram anim and it's going to be right there. We're gonna go back to our um, we're gonna go back to our honeycomb directory. Um, we're gonna want to copy this pixel folder which includes the default INI settings. I'm gonna paste it and then rename it to whatever new app I'm making. So we're gonna call it Telegram. And we're gonna open this up change this line to telegram anim and let's say I want to launch telegram I'm gonna right click open file location hit properties all right so here's the location it's gonna be that and most of the time if you just have a shortcut already set you could just copy the shortcut for this app I don't so I'm going to do telegram.bxe and we're going to save that. We're going to uh, go to Rainmeter, which is on the bottom right taskbar. We're going to refresh all. We're going to scroll down to telegram and hit pixel.ini. Alright, sorry about that. I accidentally named it Telegram and I changed it right here. Um, so now it says Telegram Anim. 
um, I refreshed again and as you can see it is right here we can align it I choose to go with like kind of a rainbow theme so I'll move some icons around just so I can kind of get a gist of a rainbow it really is up to preference again um, but that's about it I will link some extra details and let me know in the comments and I would really appreciate um, since I'm now streaming if you checked out twitch.tv forward slash fight boost um, I'm doing sea of thieves apex legends I got some new overlays going and yeah it would have mean a lot to me to have you guys come out see what's going on all right thank you guys so much for watching now let's see it all in action